the economy of Ghana finally grounded to its knees. To navigate the troubled waters of the current economic difficulties. Ghanaians are angry. <laughs> The government is confused. Our debt crisis has gone beyond the roof. In Africa, Ghana is one of the most expensive countries to live in. Prices of goods and services have increased sharply. And Ghanaians are paying a hard price for this. My fellow Ghanaians, we are all going to have to make some sacrifices. How did we get here? And truly, the center cannot hold. Take a listen to members of the majority caucus in parliament speak against their own government. We, members of the majority caucus here in parliament, will not participate in any business of government by or for the president by any other minister. It is clear that even members of the MPP can see that the government is clueless in handling the economy. They insisted on an unsustainable borrowing path even after they were warned. In the middle of all of this, they chose to celebrate with Kenki. Let's never forget that this government had all the warnings, all the signs, time and time again, yet they insisted on the path they took. One would ask why the government is so stubborn. It only means one thing, they do not care. Ghanaian economy at the moment, you know, it's doing, I mean, let's just be honest, it's doing terribly. Uh, oh, not terribly. The internet is littered with countless warnings from individuals such as former President Mahama, CSOs, members of the minority in parliament, Dr. Ato Forsen, Mr. Adongo, and many others of the opposition party, and even within the MPP, the MPP will never listen. Borrowed recklessly. As the World Bank has cautioned Ghana against excessive borrowing. This borrowing is too much, it's not sustainable. The borrowings are not in productive sectors. Akufuado ignored all this sound caution from the NDC. We raised this red flag that the direction in which the economy was going was going to crash. Finance Minister was hiding huge liabilities and giving a rosy picture of the economy. Now, our external debt alone is $30 billion almost. $30 billion. So that's external. We are not counting the local. It's kind of frightening. That's as simple as that. The money is finished. If the money is finished, that means all the things you are doing, you are borrowing. Not good. I don't know. But even then, it's 91%. What do we do? We're heading for a disaster. When we had the opportunity to build on what John Mahama did, That's interesting. what we didn't do was to protect those investments with sensible policies and sensible projects. We spliced a lot in 2020, the elections we spent so much. But even before 2020 election, we had wasted a lot of money on nebulous projects supervised by the Minister of Special Development Initiatives. So, Mr. Speaker, if you take groups and services together, you take the difference in wages and salaries, we are borrowing 10.6 billion every year to pay for consumption. Mr. Speaker, you are living a for our children without an asset. So, by 2017, the pass through effect of our programs in 2015 2016 was still working. They had now started the process of unwinding our policies and introducing their own incompetent policies. By 2018, when their incompetent policies now set in, look at where we were. We are now growing negative 7%. So Ghana's cover was being blown. Adam Smith, this is your terminal report. <laughs> From 2017 till now, is he saying that he has not heard our ranking member for finance, Honorable Atu Forsen, raised these issues, proposed these alternatives? Didn't he listen to his address at the UPAC, his own institution, where we told this government that you are headed into the ditch, cut down on the expenditure, cut down on the reckless borrowing. We started ringing these, this alarm bell in 2017. President Mahama has been talking about it. Adongo has been talking about it. Atu Forsen has been talking about it. Setekwe has been talking about it. I have been talking, all our communicators, we've been talking about that. After all this warning, this is what the president had to tell us. We will borrow money. Everybody borrows money. He says, we will borrow money. Everybody borrows money. Well, Mr. President, 
Thank you for dragging us into this ditch with the reckless borrowing. You have plunged the whole country into an economic crisis. As a stand, Ghana's economy has been downgraded to a junk status and we are defaulting on our debt. Something that has never happened in the history of Ghana. This abysmal performance was so bad that even Nigeria reported it. It was reported by former Nigerian TV station channels. Welcome back. Ghana's long-term local and foreign currency issuer default ratings have been lowered by ratings agency Fitch from CCC to CC or further junk status. And that's the worst rating ever. The Mr. President, Ghanaians are suffering. We have defaulted on our debts. People who have their savings, hard hand savings, would be suffering because some of their money will be taken. This is what the reckless borrowing of this government has led Ghana into. Ghanaians must never forget the economic quagmire we found ourselves with inflation going high up as much as 50%. MPP never again. <laughs> Nous fiers, c'est car, et moi, on fait rien. Mais nous, 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 nous,